Welcome back to PSC Stack Bytes. Today we keep on talking about managed identities and I want to show you how you can create user assigned managed identities. In order to do that, you simply need to create an Azure resource of type managed identity. So you will have to go to the section for those managed identities and you will need to be, of course, either a global admin or a managed identity operator or managed identity contributor. Once you have created a managed identity, you will have a principal ID, as well as in the properties, you can get access to the client ID and tenant ID of the identity that you created. You can also configure access control for that identity, and you can see all of the resources associated with that identity, if any. By switching into the Entra ID management panel, you can also go to the enterprise applications and by filtering the application by type, selecting the type managed identity, you will be able to see all of the managed identities configured in your tenant. And you can see the service principle associated with them. So let me switch to the demo environment and let me show you how to create a user assigned managed identity. So here we are in the Azure Management Portal and we can go under Managed Identities right here or you can search for Managed Identities here and here you can see the list of Managed Identities that are user assigned. You can create a new one, it will go in a target subscription and resource group. I for example can use this one, I can locate it in North Europe or wherever you like and I can call it PSC Stack by Managed Identity. So this would be the name of my user assigned managed identity. I can eventually provide additional tags to my uh, resource and I can review and create the resource using the regular interface that we use to create any other Azure resource in Microsoft Azure. Once the user assigned managed identity will be created, we will be able to see that we have a management panel for that identity through which we can configure the access control for the identity itself. We can also see, for example, the role assignment for that identity, if any, and we can see the associated resources for that identity. And from here, we can see that, for example, if we go back to home and we select this Azure function just for the sake of assigning my user assigned managed identity to something in Azure, I can go under identity and rather than enabling the system assigned like we have seen in the previous episode, we can go under user assigned, we can click on add and we can search for an identity that we have in our list of user assigned managed identities. Here is the identity that I created before and I can add it to my resource, to my Azure function. Now, in a matter of few seconds, we will be also able to see the Azure function in the list of the resources associated with my managed identity. So let me go back to the managed identities list. Let me select the identity that I just created and let me go to the associated resources. And here we can see that we have the Azure function associated with my managed identity. We can also go back to the Azure Entra ID management portal. We can go under enterprise applications and as like as we did in the previous episode, we can filter by managed identities and we can see that we have our managed identity and we can see all of the information about the service principal, like the application ID, the object ID, any uh, additional permission that we might have for this application and so on and so forth. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.